Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and happy before Easter day because I'm taping this and I'm putting it out to you all before Easter Sunday okay but happy happy blessed blessed Easter for those that believe in the resurrection okay but we're just gonna do a quick social visit here uh, on our channel and we're gonna be talking a little bit about three people uh, Shree Whitfield and Nene Leakes and her boyfriend who's still married so we just gonna keep him as a companion right now cuz I don't know if I can get with that situation even though Nene saying you know everything's cool fine and that's her boyfriend but then when Greg was on this plane of existence um, living with us on earth and stuff of that nature she didn't like him having a companion when she called herself up there doing it on thing and traveling trying to make the bills and all this that and the third okay but we're gonna be talking about those three people today because it's just really i was like wait a minute hold up wait a minute what is nini doing over there what is nini doing over in Accra? Africa. What is she doing over there? Did she go over there because she wanted to go over there? Or did she go over there for business? Or did uh, her boyfriend uh, Yoni take her over there? Or not Yoni or whatever his name is. Okay. See, that's Akon. Akon is trying to build a city. Yes. In Senegal. And he is trying to name it Akon world or Akon city or however you want to see it and I remember when he was trying to get it together it's probably about four or five years maybe and it's just now coming to fruition all right and it kind of coincides with the time that Sheree was going over there visiting one of Akon's wives and I don't know if she was trying to make that a storyline for the Real Housewives of Atlanta because she knew she would be tapped to come back in and give us another ring uh, give us another go at it with her fanatics and, and, and her I don't know lack of a storyline I should say because Bob Whitfield really crucified her <laughs> when she was calling herself having to tape with him to have a storyline and he was going to help her out with it but child that thing went south real fast and had her looking kind of ugly you know kind of disheveled and everything but anyway and i do remember a time that the ladies on real housewives of Atlanta went to africa i don't forgot what part of africa that they went to because that's when phaedra was on the show as well and that's the last time i ever heard about them going and you know showing us you know how they go and travel international and just that in the third but that was on bravo dime of course but i don't know how sheree went over there she probably went on her own dime or whatnot but it's like she was trying to get a storyline out and then again akon could have invited her over there to share his business ideas of what he wanted to do for his country and you know for celebrities that wanted to have a second home to come and uh, learn about their heritage and just that in the third now nini's over there and i'm like nini what are you learning what are you learning honey because i don't know how you can go one place wearing a mask and then you out partying in that same uh country without a mask make it make sense people make it make sense and that's the name of my other channel i want y'all to go to uh to and if you go towards the end of this video you get that far you're gonna see my little tag of you know my little avatar and how you can get there but anyway just keep um going on with me okay you ain't got nothing else to do all right so you just sit on over here at the house and listen to me chit chat because i'm just trying to figure out some things and i know my um family is smart so i want my nigerian sisters my liberian sisters all of my african sisters come on over here and tell me what's going on because you know i'm nosy and i'm nosy in the states and i'm nosy internationally <laughs> my curiosity is at an all-time high now i'm like okay sheree whitfield went over there in 2020 with uganda africa and that's not too far from uh what is it senegal is it y'all check me now uganda y'all get y'all get with me now but uh me just faking the phone 
you could tell she don't like none of that food she's being very picky and if y'all were on her instagram account that lady was trying to culturize her she was trying to tell her no you want this you want this and she said yeah i don't want to boom this so i don't want to waste no food and she's like no, you and you need to get this you need to get this and then um i i, I if I heard it correctly, I think uh, Naomi was telling her, try to jell off rice, the jell off rice. And I was like, well, hell, she said, I want some of that fried rice right there. <laughs> he said, no, try to jell off rice. And then in another situation, I, she was calling him very bossy. But to me, men, when, they're, when they know who they are and they know how they want you to present yourself around them, it can tend to seem like they are bossy. But, uh, I look at it as a submissive role, especially if you got a good man. You probably would want to just lean on to his understanding and follow his lead. That's only if you got a, a good, blessed, uh, God fearing man. Now, you should know that by you, you get my age at 54, you should know what's real and what's not, what you're gonna put up with and what you ain't gonna put up with. Because, damn, when you get your fitness, you shouldn't be putting up with no type of bullshit from nobody in no relationship. I don't care if it's the same sex or it's heterosexual, okay? You should not be putting up with bullshit. At, in your 50s okay because you got more time behind you than you got ahead of you and in your 50s you should be just enjoying yourself if you ain't made your million mile now just live honey live and be satisfied with what you got and keep it moving okay just have good people around you fun people around you and uh knowledgeable people around you and go out fearing people around you then you good you good but anyway uh, I just said that state is because you know Nene is over there. Sheree was the ambassador and she got a little nickname too, y'all. Y'all think Portia had a little nickname that Simon called himself, you know, titling her. But Sheree Whitfield got a, a nickname too. Let's get on into this article. And this article was written in two, 2021 in May, okay? It's on the com. all right? And it's titled, um, American actress Sheree Whitfield expresses interest in investing in Uganda. Now, first of all, I'm like, who told uh, this uh, journalist that Sheree Whitfield was a actress? I'm like, mm, reality show? They that that's what they call acting? Cause they're not acting. They're just coming up with their own words, saying what they need to do. They ad lib it. They just make it everything up while they go along. But if that's what they do, if they want to call them actresses, which is a real slap in the face that uh for people that really actually went to school and studied the art, got coaching and all like that. And those are true, well paid actors and actresses. But just because you be on a reality show, God damn, they trying to make you as a uh a actress and an actor? Okay, all right. I guess you acting. You know, even though it's supposed to be reality, meaning you're a glimpse of your world and how you go about your daily living from, you know, point A to point B. But if they call in reality shows and the participants in the show are actresses and act actors, okay, go for, uh, go ahead. But anyway, he says, uh, American socialite and actress Sheree Whitfield has said she will take up investments in Uganda's culture heritage tourism real estate and movie production all right sheree or sheree who was part of a 16 member team led by senegalese american celebrity and businessman uh oh i'm gonna mess up this man name we're gonna say ali dalamala badora okay uh, also known as Akon. Oh, see that Akon, who were in the country to explore opportunities, said, uh, because Uganda is gifted by nature with a rich cultural heritage, this needs to be explored by the rest of the world. I am planning to come back soon because I want to explore the country and its people more. You have the best weather, and I see myself living here as my second home. Sheree said, she noticed. She noted that as such together with her partners, they are they are invest in uh, Uganda and will attract more African Americans to visit as well as taking up investment given the enormous opportunities available in the East African country. The proprietor of She by Charain clothing line added that she as well as invest in the real estate by setting up high-end lodges and apartments that would be owned and rented out by tourists. She has well revealed plans of contributing to Uganda's movie, film, and TV production industry by sharing her earned 
skills over years. Speaking at the function, the trade and investment officer in the office of the president, Isaac Kigozi, uh, assured that American actors of all the necessary support from the office of the president and all government agencies, including the Uganda Tourism Board, UTB, to ensure that her investment dreams come to pass. During a dinner at State House, President uh, Museveni gave Sheree a new name. Uh, it's called Muti Ego or M-U-T-U-U-N-G-O, which means tall and elegant like a palm tree. Now, okay, the reason why I want to do this story, I'm trying to figure out, Nini's over here in the States claiming a uh, broke mouth. Po broke mouth, as my mama like to call it, when you, you're saying you broke, but then you're trying to live another lifestyle that's contradicting what you're trying to say. You see what I'm saying? So if Nini calling herself broke over here, why is she over there with her boyfriend uh, visiting some of uh, Akon's, um, what do you call it, history, his culture, because he, he had actually took them to a flea market type of situation where you could buy uh, African paintings, arts, um, pocketbooks, and, and things of that nature, books. And I'm like, is Nini over there trying to get into that crypto thing and trying to build, um, you know, more massive wealth? Or do she have a money? Is, is that what she frustrated about, guys? Does she need that money to come over here and invest in Akon's vision? His $6 billion Akon City? And they don't kind of like the structure of it. They're like snakes, not only y'all. I mean, I don't understand where it's going. And, you know, I'm not a favorite of anything looking like a snake or whatever. But I commend him on what he's trying to do. But I'm like, I hope it's not a Ponzi scheme. I hope it ain't nothing that Nini finna get herself wrapped up in. Because when did Nini ever go to Africa other than the time that Real Housewives of Atlanta was footing the bill? Okay? When did Sheree really ever go to uh, Africa? Because she was on the same trip that, that, you know, they all had went over there when Phaedra was a cast member. But Akon um, and... Nini's crew, along with her uh, boyfriend, they went over there, and um, I guess he was just giving them a tour and see what the likelihood would be with them coming and bringing their money and investing in the city, and you know possibly having a you know like a Sheree Whitfield was saying a second home. Now like Sheree, now baby girl, you barely got that Chateau Sheree thing up and running. And you just got back on the show. Now, here that was in 2021 that you, you know, whatever you said. And they, they, they talking about they paying you 250000 Baby, I don't know if you could invest that way. Though. And you really need to be trying to show and prove and see if everything's on the up and up with this situation. Now, I ain't never heard of Akon doing nothing bad. Running on ponds and skiing or this, that, and third. But sometimes you always got to check this shit out. Okay, because you don't know nothing about the culture because you haven't immersed yourself over there. You haven't like taken a trip every couple of years or every year to show support and going over there and learning about the heritage, the culture and, and building over there by being, you know, a black American that you're so used to being. You know, you, it's like you, you got to walk the walk to talk the talk. So you can't just come over there saying, oh, yeah, I would like this, 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 but I want it more modernized and this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? You got to go over there. Hell, pick up a second language. Speak their language. You know what I'm saying? Hell, we lost out a long time ago. That's the only thing I know is American. You know, and I'm, uh, I ain't saying I'm too old not to learn something new, but my brain weighs up there. It may not be accepting because hell, I was trying to talk Spanish and you know, I was only picking up a little, you know, see, si, senor, momento, el, what do you call it, el, excelente, <laughs> you know, just a few, you know, words or no speaking English, you know, I'm on that primary uh, type of learning. So, I, um, it was just very interesting. So I was saying, okay, Nene cutting up over him, talking about she being blackballed, this, that, and the third. Then, you know, okay. Do you want to take your ass on over there to um, uh, Senegal or Accra where you're in, um, what do you call it, Nyoni or Yoni's over there partying? You know, because what are you going to do? 
you know, because they, they, they aren't, aren't going to pay you, Nene. And I don't understand why you keep barking up they, they tree when they already done told you, done built a fence and a gate around the doorway. They don't want you no more, okay? They don't want you no more. So are you planning on moving over there? You planning on moving over to Accra, uh, Africa with Nayoni? Right now, I still think you piss poor. Uh, cuddling and cozying up with a married man, whether he's uh, single or separated single, or his wife should know what it is and this, that, and the fire. I'm like, how you know? Did you have a conversation with the wife, Nene? Did you go and see what, what the true tea is? Because quite as skill out, I'm speaking out. Right now, you spreading your legs for, to a married man, which you had tried to tell Kim Zoziak not to do. But, ooh, looky, 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 who comes cooking? See what she doing? She's spreading her legs wide open and busting it wide open as much as possible, okay? And I'm like, you know, Greg may or may not have told her, move on, baby, move on. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to make it into this other uh, realm of living, all right? You're going to do your, because my job is done over here in the in the, the realm of existing where you are. I, I got to go up yonder somewhere and pay penance for what I've done, okay? But I'm going to move on. Now, I don't know if y'all had that conversation or, you know, you're trying to make us think he had that conversation. Because it ain't really none of our business. But I'm just trying to bring up, you know, ain't that the pot calling the kettle black? How you try to put salt on his name and make him feel bad for even thinking about uh, having a platonic relationship with the opposite sex while you were gone. Okay, you came and quickly 86 that idea. But you, you over here philandering and, and going out with somebody else's husband. You know what I'm saying? That's just piss poor in any. All the goddamn men out there could Simon, I mean not Simon, um, Peter could have set you up with. He set you up with somebody that's separated from his wife, but they still legally married. This ain't no polym uh, polym what is it called polygamy yeah polygamy situation you can't do that over here in Georgia in Atlanta Georgia that's a crime girl that's a crime so I'm like what are you teaching your son out there they uh he can go mess with other women if he got one good woman he still can go on and cheat if he wanted to that's some oh that's that's not good parenting one on one that's not good parenting one on one it's not that's not treating yourself right. Nene, that's not treating yourself right. You should be number two on his list, meaning he's serving the Lord, he's number one, and then he got you number two. But that ain't how you live in life out here, Nene. You living it fast, quick in a hurry, and you're taking up, shacking up, how my mom likes to say it, shacking up with a married man. He may be separated, but he also can probably go back to that same woman that he's still married to. Did you ever think about that, Nene? Because times have turned and times get hard. And you ain't making no more money because you saying you blackballed, you blacklisted, but yet you going across the country. Make it make sense, Nene. Make it make sense for us. Okay, because I'm just trying to understand the situation. You seem like you got a little brain uh, working up there. It's functioning up there. But you're just hard-headed as hell. You know what I'm saying? Just hard-headed. And then you're going to be saying on your little Instagram account that African men are hard-headed. Well, you just as hard-headed, too. So, that's like hard-headed mean hard-headed. And, I mean, y'all ain't getting nowhere. Okay? Nowhere. And another thing I got to say, Nene, why the hell that you got, because uh, I remember seeing your Instagram account, and it was flooded with pictures when you were trying to come out that you had a new boyfriend, and you were trying to introduce us slowly to the world, to us. You had your whole thing set up with that man on your uh, Nayoni Yoni on your uh, social media account. And I went over his social media account today, Yoni. He ain't got a damn picture of you on his thing. Unless he don't put one up. That way it wasn't one. Now he don't put some other women up there. I don't know if he did... Um, what you call it, clothing for them, or they were his models, or what was going on. I know Fantasia was over there, he was taking some pictures with her. But aren't you a socialite too, Nene? Aren't you a socialite? Didn't, didn't he dress Brent, your youngest son, in an outfit? Would you call yourself somewhat playing with him in social media, trying to get us to guess, was that your new boo, your new man at the time? Okay, which is a travesty, because he ain't free. The man is legally dedicated and on paper married to somebody else so that, that's just piss poor nene piss poor 
You treat your own self bad. That's why a man ain't gonna never respect you. Cause if he can get down with you and you know for a fact he married and he ain't planning on leaving her, that means he can use you anytime he feel like it because you're gullible. You're vulnerable and you're gonna take anything he throw at you. I'm just saying. Okay, cause you, you, you're showing it to all of us now. You're trampling around, shacking up here and there traveling with a married man and it don't seem like you have no uh regret about the whole situation but she's also traveling with some other people i don't know who they are if y'all know who they are let me know okay because I, I know they'll make the ladies of excellence uh the group that she called herself the movers and shakers who she had affiliated herself with i don't know what the hell happened to that group can anybody tell me either i'm waiting i'm waiting can anybody y'all get out of them comments y'all let me know because i'm confused what happened to that whole organization that she put together that they supposed to been taking yearly trips or monthly trips across the country moving and shaking and empowering other black women where did it go what well, probably in that bowl of soup <laughs> <laughs> where she gonna drink it and pee it out that's probably where it went y'all that's probably where it went that whole dream but you know what is what is she checking on her phone she checking her bank account to try to see how she gonna get home did she pay for the trip y'all or did acorn give them a pass and um she has showed i don't know if that acorn or not but i know it's, he he has grown some hair Oh, uh, so he's not bald headed anymore. But he's living his best life over there in his country and he's definitely trying to show and prove that, you know, uh, the affluent people in society globally they can come visit his world, his city that he's constructing and he wants the heavy hitters, he wants the celebrities to come down there and rent them out an apartment or buy some land over there and come and make them their second home you know and get the heritage and stuff uh and, and show and prove but yeah nini's over there in some restaurant i guess they found for them to partake of after they came back from uh touring akon's little city that's trying to be developed and i'm uh, probably looking at little maps and and uh what do you call those things uh plans that the architect uh blueprints is what i'm trying to say looking at those to see what can transpire how this that and the third they can go about getting a living situation over there and the finances and all that i'm pretty sure they talk shop so they ended up at this little restaurant where they were having i guess great ethnic food and stuff i don't think i had now i'm saying i'm seeing lids covering some pots and then i'm seeing pots that's not being covered i'm like what is the flies the gnats can get in that shit you know come on we need to do better without hygiene of people we we need to have you know canisters we need to have caps on that shit okay because you just don't know you just don't know and you know since nobody getting sick way over there man, you know I, it's just it's wasn't good it wasn't kosher so that's all i got to say and i say that about anybody kosher cover that shit up COVID out there you know what i'm saying we don't want nobody coughing sneeze and whatever even though they got on masks i understand that but we need to cover that shit up okay they don't like eating that buffets no more either I mean, I didn't really like eating at buffets too much anyway uh, before COVID came in because I used to see people, you know, be coughing and sneezing. They'd be all up on the, the you know, all you can eat buffet and shit. But I, that, that's nasty. That's, you know, just got my whole appetite. Well, I, I said, no, nah, I got to go home. I got to fix my own shit. And sometimes I did do that when I would meet people to go eat and they saying they want to do this or i will order off the menu i'm not going over there to that buffet because ain't nothing but a death trap with germs and everything else okay but anyway that's all i had for this video guys try to get in y'all then them comments try to tell me what i need and sheree doing over there who knows sheree i ain't gonna try to get in her pocketbook her purse strings and think i know what she got because i don't okay but i'm just seeing how she's tracing around here in atlanta and this that and the third when we catch her out and about and the news and stuff that don't make it to your local news station it just be on instagram or facebook you know she parlaying around here looking like this that and the third but you know she's talking about she's gonna go invest in you know, she barely got shut her charade up okay so i'm like what the hell are you talking about girl what, what are you talking about you could get your shit straight over him before you try to go out across the country unless you're gonna try to move over there permanently which me i can't see charade being over there I really can't because she's too modernized and damn sure Nini just want to visit so she can clown all she want to but you know 
let's face it nene is one of them prim plush people that you got to have all her electricity she can't have about some electricity going somewhere and hooking some up like you know how they say nigga rigging she she can't have that she need to be flipping light switches and stuff like that because she you know she don't got the big head so no 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 she she cannot be over there uh totally without electricity without wi-fi with all the modernization is what i'm pretty much trying to say so he she might go visit here and there but she ain't planning on living over there and if she did get something it's probably like she's time sharing or uh, you know where a group of people just share on one occupancy of a rental space and they just pick whatever day or whatever month or during the year they want to come out there okay but i'm like nene <laughs> oh what a tangle web we weave when we practice to deceive girl when we practice like i said you can't you can't win when you play dirty girl you can't win when you play dirty and we know you are mad at your rape pretty much because you didn't want Sheree back on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. You had dogged her out so bad. Talking about she got a car repossessed. Woo, child, I remember those days back when Kim's over there. And y'all, y'all was on there. Sheree had pulled uh, Kim's over there. We, I said, ooh, you trying to switch it up for a girl? Don't take it off too fast. It might be ugly up under there. <laughs> but child, child, child. This Real Housewives of Atlanta has gone. <laughs> <laughs> it has definitely gone. It's this. It's time. You know, it's time for it to be doing something. It's gonna heat back up, and you need to shut that shit down. Cause I damn sure don't want to see nobody fighting and scrapping up out there. But you know, like I said, we got some new players coming May first. Uh, Sanya Richards Ross is up on now. She like she demands respect, honey, cause she's a four time gold medalist winner, and she 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 earned that title. But to get that respect from each and everybody, okay. But that's all I had in this video, guys. I tried to make some comparison to try to see how Nene's trying to move out here. While she's over here uh, calling pro, bro, what do you call it? Po broke mouth. What's she doing over there? She's trying to land some other type of property. Okay, because we know she had a quick, fast, and hurry downsize uh, the house living situation that she was in. Most people just trying to take up for her and say, oh, no, it's just too big for her to handle. Uh-uh, she couldn't handle the shit when Greg was still on this plane of resistance. Money was what wasn't flowing in to basically uh, capture all those costs that were going out. She ain't fooling nobody. Those who know, know, okay? They know. And they don't have to be living with them, sitting with them every day. And I really think Nene was spending more than what she was bringing in. Okay? And that's just how it is. But I will see y'all next video. Alright, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.